Hello, Scorpio. I'm Crystal. It's for Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay. <clears throat> I keep on losing my voice today. You have time to go um, and mending. So this is talking about like letting go from the past, okay, and healing from it, okay. <clears throat> Moving on. That's a 49 card, okay. And I just seen the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like, you know, I feel like you're doing more better things for yourself. Really um, doing. Um, Putting things in order for yourself, like really focused on your career, focused on yourself, on your health, on where it is that you're trying to get yourself. So let's see what this time to go is. You have the death card and the four of cups. So I feel like you guys are moving on from something because you're feeling like it's not really getting you anywhere, right? You're feeling like it's really stuck. You're feeling ignored, not appreciated, or at least you're not getting your worth out of whatever this is anymore. Maybe something has ran its course. And with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like in the King of Swords, it's like you guys are being inspired to do something brand new here and start something new. And with the King of Swords, I feel like you're listening to your intuition. You might be getting a lot of spiritual downloads here, especially with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Your ancestors, your angels might be sending you a lot of signs. You might be getting a lot of signs saying walk away from something or let something or someone go. This could be people, places, things, right? It doesn't have to be, you know anything specific but it could be anything you have the change in the wind so yes it's like you have changed your mind about something or maybe like one night you woke up and then boom you know you have like these new ideas these new visions these new um things that you want for your future right and i feel like this is helping you guys move forward i feel like even though you guys might feel like you know you don't know what's really coming it's like it's you feel like it's going to be better than what it is that's going on at the moment right <clears throat> the page of swords and the eight of pentacles you got three pages you guys might have three kids or you guys might be um <clears throat> just having a lot of ideas i feel like you guys are creating there's a lot of new energy the death card comes right that's an ending but it always brings a new beginning the sun always shines again but then you have the ace of cups and three pages so it's telling me that you are really starting something brand new here i feel like you guys might be getting a lot of like you know love interest you guys might be getting a lot of offers here a lot of new ideas as well like new fresh perspective on life okay with the eight of pentacles i feel like you guys are working really hard here on yourself with the nine of pentacles and anything on the nine of cups too on your dreams so it's like you guys are really focused on getting yourselves out of the stuck energy i feel like you guys know what it is that you guys have to do okay Maybe you don't, you have building blocks too. I didn't even notice that and all that glitter. So yeah, you guys are building a really great, stable future for yourselves, okay? And with the world, it's your close, it's a brand new world, okay? It's going to be like everything might be changing. So it's like, you know, um, you might be moving, your job might be changing, um, or maybe you're moving up in your career, right? But whatever this is, you're very focused on yourself and doing better for yourself feel like you're eating better you're dieting you your looks might be changing might be changing your hair um you have the hangman the two of swords and the justice card yeah i feel like you um there was a choice that was needed to be made for a while now and it didn't really get you anywhere but it was too hard to make the decision but with the justice card i feel like you're just going for what feels right and you guys are taking this step out <clears throat> to get yourself out of this box you have the Eight of Cups, there, yeah, and the Tower. It's like out of nowhere, there could have been some type of like sudden shock or sudden epiphany that you had that was like, you know what, I got to go. I got to leave this behind. If I keep staying here, it's going to block me from my wish. So it's like you guys are just moving forward, all right? And it's like no longer really looking back. Well, I feel like you are still looking back, but it's like no longer being held back, okay? You have, it's time to govern and discipline yourself by the voice of reason. Now is the time to be discerning and only move forward if you assess your risk to result in a favorable outcome. Others will try to sway you. Use caution, care, and good judgment. Remove yourself from risky situations. Keep a cool head. Stay in control. So you might have some people that's trying to stop you from moving forward. They don't want you to. They don't want you to do better. They don't want you to leave them behind, but you know what you have to do. And then you have rebirth, which is telling me basically it's like you guys are ending something like i said and the sun is going to shine again and you guys are basically 
like almost like born again. And it's like being a brand new person or just feeling brand new, right? And you have moderation. So taking your steps, okay? Not rushing into anything as you're building this for your future. Um, then you also have with every ending comes a new beginning with lost grief. With every ending comes a new beginning. With loss, grief, illness, depletion, or despair comes a new beginning, a rebirthing. Take a moment to regroup and contemplate your steps going forward. This is an omen of starting over. Transitioning into a new cycle, new projects, new beliefs, new found talents, new abilities, or even the new you, right? And it's like you guys are like... I'm hearing you guys are like almost like being like baptized, basically. It's like learning a lot of lessons. You guys are very, very protected. You're just like almost like being born again. Yeah, strategizing, okay? It's like Napoleon outlook. It's like you guys want to freaking be able to enjoy the world, you know, see the world. You don't want to keep on feeling stuck or feeling like you're blocked from something. It's like I feel like you guys are always trying to figure out what's next. And this might be hard for you to walk away from. So maybe you guys are making plans here. And you have Divine Feminine. Yeah, so it's like you're stepping into your Divine Feminine. You're stepping into more of like a loving energy. I feel like your energy is like really like flowing. And um, I feel like you're starting to feel way better about yourself. Especially since I've seen the Nine of Pentacles like twice. And then you have Toxic Love. Strong highs and intense lows. So I feel like you have learned to love yourself through a toxic relationship or through toxic relationships so this could be family friends lovers work right but it's like you learn to love yourself through this and i feel like this has just made made you stronger and um you're moving on from this you may have dealt with a lot of people who had some like behavioral issues or people who didn't really like anti-social people okay you may have been always like pushed away pushed away pushed away unchanged unaltered and living in the past yeah the reason why you're moving on is because whoever you're dealing with has problems like with how they act okay so if they get angry they may like be they might just like you know like switch up right like just that fast so with unchanged and behavioral issues this person's not willing to change or not trying to change okay this could be causing some type of health issues or this person may have some type of undiagnosed or unidentified issues if that is you it might be because you're dealing with somebody who is stressing you out and the reason why they can't find out what the problem is is because the problem is in the environment i feel like once you get away from this person if this is you with this undiagnosed i unidentified um problem i feel like you're going to be fine i feel like half of this or most of this has to do with the stress that you're going through look the five of swords because of stress because of fighting competition feeling depleted of your energy the devil because it's a toxic environment you need to let that go move on so this way you can free yourself negative habits, negative mindsets, sadness, stuckness, and just, you know, get away from this shit. Once you get away from this and you start feeling better about yourself, your body's going to start feeling a whole hell of a lot better too. Yeah, but you have to let this go and you have to heal from it, okay? So let's find out what's coming in for love. I'll put all my cards back because I only brought one deck down with me. Six of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of people that are um, interested in you. All right. I feel like you're standing out. Um, Ace of Cups. Wow. This could be a new love that's coming in for you that's very popular. Or you have a lot of people who are interested in you because you have a very um, loving energy. I feel like uh, the King of Wands. Yeah, you're like a leader. A lot of people look up to you. They're inspired by you. All right, you may help a lot of people, and you may have helped some of these people who are interested in you as well. The Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but look, for Love, Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Six of um, Wands. So you might have somebody that's meant to come back, okay? Somebody from the past, the past life soulmate. Could be a Libra, like I said, but this person's coming in to help balance things out, okay? And I don't feel like this person... <laughs> these are all good cards yeah and the empress too like this person and the magician like oh my god and the nine of pentacles 
like the, this love that's coming in for you, you're not going to regret this person, okay? This person, I feel like you have more, multiple people. I mean, you have the Emperor, you have the Magician, the King of Wands, the Empress, and the Justice card. You might have like three or four people who's interested in you, okay? But choose wisely. Take your time when you're meeting these people, okay? Time will show you a lot. Um, deception, the reason why you need to take your time is because some of these people may be coming through with, um, release your ex. Okay. So maybe, um, somebody from your past, an ex, maybe this person that you're trying to walk away from that I was just talking about or a situation, whatever this is. You have somebody that's trying to come in. This could be your ex and the universe is saying, hmm, you know what I mean? They're still deceptive. They're still lying. So this is why the universe is trying to bring you in some fresh new energy, but I feel like they're bringing you multiple people. So that's why you have options and it says it is safe for you to love so this new person as long as you're taking your time and getting to know people because remember it could be anybody so take your time um it is safe for you love this person is going to come in and take care of you okay but i do feel like you need to let go of the past okay and um not allow the things that you allowed before in the past to uh reoccur in this relationship you have past life relationship and six of cups. So this person that the universe is sending into you, you have had past lives with them. Okay. You shared other lifetimes with this person and you guys loved each other so much. Your, your souls enjoy each other so much that you have to come back, that you guys want to come back and reunite in this lifetime. I'm going to get one of these cards. Resistance. Carefully assess carefully assess the situation this is known to signify that you or someone else is resisting change or an offer for something so when this person comes in you might resist this person but this person's what you asked for this person's what you manifested this person is somebody that's meant for you so the universe is saying you know let your guards down a little don't let the person all the way in right away no but it's like you have to let this person in somewhat because you don't want to want to push in away um, one of your wishes anyway that's what I got for you guys. If this resonates, please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good day. Toodles.